Okay, so we've got 10 and 5 and we're just basically practicing the end of year 2023 concepts, ideas, the strategies, the mantra, our own answer to chess process. Just a pure consolidation, using them at the right moment at the right time. Let's capture this because we like doing that. And let's bring the queen out because we like bringing the queen out in this circumstance. And in this circumstance, we like to bring the bishop here just to get the king ready for castling. So it's personal preference. You have to be happy with the position that you're going to be ending up in. There might be 10 million other ways of mobilizing your pieces, but you have to feel comfortable with what you are happy with. It might be the worst position in the world that you're happy with and you can make it work for yourself. So don't let others try and cajole you into playing like them or playing like somebody else from the history books. Just play your own game. That's a nice touch. Could go for a bit of a potential x-ray through if they forget themselves. What's the magic behind that all? Sometimes a forward push of a pawn distracts the opponent from the main event. Excuse me. Okay, not distracted them that much. Let's continue. Let's support with the dark square bishop. We feel fairly happy with that. We know this pawn's not going to last too long. It's the head of the well, it's not a snake because there's no more pawns there. And we can't take because we've got currently got a X-ray through. And they've got two pieces on there so if the bishop takes bishop takes then they're winning a pawn so the idea being is that either the queen comes here or comes here or comes here which square is better so we could come here and it's got like a nice attack here but the rook is um, defending that area don't want to get the queen trapped in any way shape the knight's not going to get involved could come here we're on the dark square but it's kind of blocking the bishop so maybe that might get attacked could come here it's giving distance and space for both the bishop and the other bishop i think it's coming here just to give it a little bit of space for the white square bishop it's the lesser piece giving it more activity rather than being the head attacking this pawn here all right, so they've moved. Let's castle. King safety, comfortable with that. That's a little man. So the knight's coming out, out to come back in, out to come back in, put more pressure on the pawn. Queen stuck in the middle of the board, could attack it again with a smaller piece. Obviously it can go here, not there, but there. So it's dropped down. Okay, and we could bring the knight up, looking for a potential attack on the queen. Stacking our bishop at the moment. So we could attack, but then he takes the pawn. Anything else? No, no, no. Bring the queen back across. Support with the pawn. Not too sure about opening up the space around the king. Okay, could move the bishop. Don't have to stay there. Stacking the pawn here. I think we'll just move the bishop. Let's clear the way. So it's just the one pawn that's being attacked still attacking around here so get this knight out into the game dum, dum. feels nice here yep let's go here could look to attack the queen if need be it's come down so on passant is probably going to take place bishop's going to probably take take the bishop off the board nice exchange going on Now it's got no protection. 
So the rook will come and defend after. Uh, knight's got no protection. So does that mean they're going to get something after we've done this? Let's take the knight. Or is our queen getting miraculously trapped? Forward motion pawns. Bishop's going to be attacking. So he actually wins the bishop back. But if he does push the pawn, the pawn is blocking. Oh, he's got a pawn. He's got a pawn. We can take this pawn here because we're attacking the bishop. Take the bishop. So, very nice touch. Damn it. So he's got my knight. Could swing the knight across attacking the queen. This is one of those where it can go oh horribly wrong. Don't really want to stay on this file with the queen because the rook's gonna come across at some point. If we go across there, it's still got stealth to go here and attack the knight, but the queen can take. Let's attack the queen. Right. The king is here. Never mind all this dancing around here. Let's can we get some sort of attack on the king? Doesn't look like it. It's okay. Has he landed on anything? He's attacking the bishop. Bishop can come and attack because he's attacking the knight again. Let's attack the queen with the bishop. Still keeping that diagonal through. Is there a way? No, because the queen is there. Is there a way? Yes, maybe to here. Because the rook's not going to want to stay there forever. This bishop wants to come out. It's probably going to attack the bishop, actually. I can see it. And then they'll be attacking this square. But for now, the queen is under, under attack. So we need to stop the calculations. So we're plus two. Uh, is that we've just got the extra knight. They've got one, two, three, four, five pawns. We've got four pawns. Uh, the block to the square we wanted to go to. We wanted to go here, didn't we, really? Mm -hmm. So we could always come here. Knight can come here. I say I don't really want the queen in the middle of the board. But we need to get the rooks activated, don't we? So if we can get them in a file, then maybe we can start attacking the queen and working towards their king area. This bishop wants to come out. That's probably why they brought the queen here. No, it's attacking. So we could attack the queen with the rook. It's attacking a higher piece. They might go for the trade. So maybe that might not work. So let's move the knight first, shall we? Here. Which one gets access to their queen? None of them do. Here. So this one's attacking the pawn. This one's going away. It's not got much there. Could come back here. This one's attacking the pawn, but the pawn's probably just going to get supported. If it does push, maybe they... Oh, they moved there a bit quick, didn't they? They move there a bit quick, steady on. So there's not the queen's not there. What we're missing? Bishop attacks the bishop. Yeah, but we've always said this rook is the rook or one of these rooks wants to attack the queen. So if we go rushing and taking the queen's just gonna take the knight. So that's probably why they um, left that pawn there. We're looking for a bit of a um, little bit of fun. Queen could come back if we want to try and get this queen off the board. 
if the bishop did come and dance, if the rook comes. I think we'll go for actually attacking the queen and the bishop. Knight's got no protection, so they might go, oh, I'll, I think I'm going to attack their knight. You can have our bishop. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Or they may go, no, I'm going to mate you. Now, I've got to be careful with this thing, because if you go like this, the bishop still can take, because that pawn can't take, the rook can take the bishop. Okay. So I think Flash Harry is probably going to go like this. Whew. It's not over. As I've always said, just because you've got an extra minor piece doesn't mean you've won the game. Um, I think we've practiced throughout this last year um, the handicap. Not losing pieces on purpose, but when we have lost a minor piece, we seem to have been able to claw the game back, um, which has been quite beneficial, I think, for um, my better understanding of the game positionally. It looks like they've left the game, but they do have a few seconds left to go, so they may come back home. Also, it doesn't look like they're going to. Yeah, so when things like that happen where I, I misplace my piece or I miscalculate the move order of things and I lose a minor piece, yeah, it is shocking and surprising. Um, but we've proven to ourselves, we'll claim victory on that, that was an interesting game. Um, we've proven that time and time again, a higher percentage of the games where I have lost minor pieces and we've been able to find better positions than what the opponent is actually trying to strive for. I think there's a shock factor that kicks in where, wow, I've got more pieces on the board, so I should be winning. But you really have to be able to utilize your pieces um, in the appropriate manner. And it can shock people when they are actually more pieces up. They've got more pieces to think about. Whereas when you've got less pieces, you've got less pieces to think about. So you've got less calculation to do. And I think that has helped with the majority of the games where I have handicapped myself and it's, it's come up trumps for us. So it's been an interesting year of chess, um, especially regarding that aspect of the game. Okay, nice little practice of 10 and 3 again. So pushing through the center here, attacking the pawn, all simple. Oh, nice, and just capture the pawn then and take the queen off the board. And this is super simplification. Even more simple if they take with the knight, but you never can tell. Oh, they're taken with the queen. All right, the king, sorry. Let's attack this pawn and let's take the bishop off the board. Let's attack the um, king, get more pieces off the board. Let's take the knight off the board. <clears throat> and last but not least, let's just block this knight from getting a little bit funky. And let's castle. Just bring the knight up. Let's bring the rook across, supporting. If they've got anything about themselves, they'll be doubling the rooks here. And they're not doing that soon. Um, I think we'll take. Not going to get out with that. They're just going to continue pushing. Not going to go here. Could just bring it down just to mess the system up. Could just bring the knight across, looking for the exchange. And I think that's what we'll do. I think they'll still still continue with this. We will attack the knight with the support from the knight. And do you know, I think we're going to take with the rook. They're going to take with the knight on the pawn. And 
And this is where it could get a little bit icky. Hold your belts. Let's attack one, two. Their main focal point will be on these linked pawns that have passed here. It's looking to trap the knight. Good call. We jump here. Then we don't have any other spaces. The rook's just going to come across. Then we don't have anywhere to go. So we're kind of trapping our own knight. So we have to be very mindful of that. So we could come here. Again, what's it doing? It's attacking this pawn. It drops. Gives them something to think about. Let's bring the knight up. I don't want to end up trapping it though. It could have. Oh, I think we have. It's going to drop there. And then we can't drop here. Oh, we didn't want to trap our knight. Probably should have just brought it all the way back and come. Yeah, look at that. They see it. But we can come here. Still going to get trapped though, isn't it? Because the bishop's going to come here. Then we're not going in. In Rook's going to get us. I don't think it's fast enough though. So let's just bring the knight here. It's going to get kind of trapped in a whirlwind of going nowhere. Damn it. But the knights, the rooks come across, so maybe that's our saving grace. So we can come here. Yeah. Not going back there. Yeah, we can come here or go here attacking the pawn. It's tempting to attack the pawn. suppose he can move down so I'm just thinking we've got space here so that's a safe haven so I think we'll just look like we're attacking the ball and it's going to defend and let's get the knight out of here probably look to do a bit more dancing if the rook stays there but obviously that's not going to happen so oh, it's protected pawn let's get out of here before we get trapped yep let's move let's move thing is I mean we can't even move here and bishops yeah it's kind of stopping us from getting more activated up here but it does give us that space I would have thought really they would have looked to own the file with the rook but the knight seems to have done some sort of distraction work still not really in the game so I think we need to bounce it around here to at least stop these pawns because the rook can't even put a check on the king but it can attack two pawns so I think one of these pawns need to move if he does move one of them I suppose we've got time to move the knight across oh he doesn't let's go here the mouse fire's getting trapped it's gonna make me do a a blob going to hit the knight can go here let's just take this off shall we x-ray through to there no we'll move the knight first obviously just move it to here if we did get that x-ray been nice um but he's got a back rank checkmate on us oh that's gonna hurt oh it's got a back ranker on me so i've lost the knight Oh, I didn't even see that coming. Oh, happy times. Yeah, I'm not going to be fast enough to get his bishop, am I? Oh, move the knight. He comes down, gets the check on. Move the king. But then he comes down. Gets the rook, gets the knight off the board because I have to move the king. Ah, oh, happy times. Move the knight, rook comes down, check. No matter how I skin it, I can't save it. Oh, that's. So, what I was saying in the previous game was about being handicapped a minor piece. And sometimes being able to claw it back. 
this might not be one of those occasions. Hmm. Damn it. His pawns are too far down as well. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? No blocking is there. Definitely nothing I can do. Oh, the sat and waited for that. down it's definitely just a back ranker okay right playing with a handicap minor piece down let's take if the king takes we get his bishop off the board Taking some damage. Let's take now we can push. I know his pawns are a bit further down the board than ours, but maybe 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 we can get a queen before them. It looks like we are. With a check on the king. Wow. That's quite amazing. Right, okay, so he's gonna get down the back, isn't he? So put a check on here, or there's loads of checks that we can put on. Put a check here, but then he gets down. He's got hiding space here. So does the queen put a check here? Then he's not going to go there, but then I suppose he can still go here. <clears throat> put a check on the king here. Right, we don't need to rush it now, we've got seven minutes. And miraculously, out of that bad situation, we seem to have got a queen. He just does have these advanced pawns, so we need to just try and keep the checks on the king as best possible. I'm really shocked that we're in, in this position. Very, very shocked indeed. <laughs> in fact, it's quite amazing. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not over yet. Right, okay, so really want to try and get this rook off the board. I was thinking of getting the check in here because that's annoying, but then he's just creeping here. He's just going to hide. If we go there and he creeps there, then the queen can put a check on. Then he's just getting further and further down. There's got to be a better way. Queen, 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 queen. No. Nope. Just put the check on and see where it goes. I do think he's. Oh, it's not. Has that gone into our little lair? If we go here, then he hides here. Oh, he's still getting there, isn't it? Uh, still getting there. Okay, if we check like this, then it's not getting here. At least, I think. Yeah. Let's go here to try and stop this. So then it either goes here, but then even if we're chasing him, then it's still going to end up here. Mm. Well, it's a good job I've got a bit of time to try and think it through. Doesn't mean I'm going to get it right, though. I just don't want this king. I've seen many games and been in games as well where the king just escapes annoyingly escapes and then you can't do anything with it and you can't get the other pieces off the board and you kind of run out of time or whatever yeah he's, he's wanting to stay on there this is annoying any rook sacrifice thing though uh, if we went like this then he's not going to go here but then he's just going to go backwards and forwards here so it's pretty safe. So if we brought the rook up, that might give us some strength, might it? If we brought the rook up to here, he's really interested in trying to get these pawns pushed. This king can't come here. So his rook's probably maybe just going to take another pawn off to say, well, what you got? We are managing this square. 
queen could then come to could go there then he goes there then the rook can come here but then he escapes there this is annoying this is annoying I don't like it but there should be something better right if we blah 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 bring the rook up as a starter bring the rook up as a starter like I said I think they'll probably just take the pawn or I might just push this but I don't think they'll do that because that's going to open up the space for the rook to put the check on so I think it's going to be take or it might even be this pawn push because I can't actually take I might be overthinking it going here looking for the mate for it then that's a bit better than going here and then they're jumping around oh he's making space for himself I think we can still if we did this check don't really want to do that one if we did that check then he goes here then we can go here but then he, he's got that escape rope Come on, think, think, think. It can't be that hard. We did say we're going to just try and just drop here, didn't we? But then it's just going to go here. And if we drop here, then he's escaping again. The annoying escape, I don't like it. It shouldn't, this should not be there. There. Ooh, so close that but pawns there I must be overthinking this baby let's just go here like we said anyhow he escapes out from this game I'll be so annoyed Well, at least we're thinking about the annoying escaping of the king rather than thinking, well, I've got a queen and a rook and we're actually winning. Um, we're, we're using the experience that we've had, which is we have seen it where they have won games from the escaping king. So we're trying to block off as best possible his escape routes and still really haven't managed it yet. Nine times out of ten, we can look too look too deeply in the matter. We're too close to the situation to actually see the obvious moves. And that's what my brain is kicking, it's like self saying, I bet you there was a simpler way of doing this, dude. my head I'm thinking I don't think there's much that can be done I mean if they did do that we can do this oh what am I doing arrows dude arrows we can do this he can't he can escape here I suppose so that's where we'll drop to isn't it and then we do have that and then he has that If he has that, then 
do we come across here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, don't know, don't know, got to play it by ear. What move is he going to do? I don't know what move he's going to do. Maybe it brings the rook up, blocking any aspect of that. So can we touch? In fact, we could just go here, couldn't we? But I, like I said, I don't really want him coming here. So touch there. So then he has to go here, there's nowhere else. And his rook is here. He has to go there. Oh, if we just keep going backwards and forwards, there's got to be something better. Goes down, goes up there. We want to stay on this line. Hmm. I better stop thinking now. I'll just wait and see what they do. Because that's just going to hurt. Giving it some deep calculation. Maybe we've done enough to avoid the annoying king escape. The king search. Oh! This is blocked off. The rook can come here. I think that's it, isn't it? I think they've kind of given us the game there. Rook comes here with a check. King's not coming. Oh, can't can come here though. Oh, it's still that escape thing. We don't want that escape thing. No, I'm not wearing it. I am not wearing it. No. Give it some thought though. Go straight in. <clears throat> we come here. It gets that annoying space here. Then it's going to get protection. Comes down. King comes down, so the rook's already there. Queen comes down. Comes down. Yeah, that's we don't want it in that position. I don't even know why we're even thinking that. So stick with the original plan. Queen comes here, he drops, but the only difference is now that this pawn is blocking. So it might be an occasion then to actually get the rook off the board. So the king comes down, then we bring the rook here attacking the pawn. King can't defend the pawn, the pawn can't move. So this is where this pawn comes and starts attacking because the king can't move. <sighs> Attacks the pawn. Rook takes the pawn with a check on the king. King has to do something. So it, the rook has to take. Queen takes with a check on the king, so we win that tempo and we'll be able to take this pawn off the board. It does have these two linked pawns here. I can't stand those sort of games where they actually win out with the pawns in the end. Look at the time running out. 
Oh, look at the time running out. Right, um, what did we say? Let's hit the king. Stick with the plan that we talked about ages ago. Bring the rook down now, attacking the pawn. I think it's a three second increment thing. We did say all this stuff here, so if anything different happens from there, we'll recalculate. Actually, this pot, the queen can't take the pawn. It's not there, is it? <laughs> I messed that up. I'll have to realign it and put a check on the king. Jim, I'm thinking the rook can take, you know, if he comes down here, I'm thinking the rook can take the pawn, but... Oh, he has done as well. He has done as well, so I'm going to have to realign with a check on the king. But then the king moves out of the way. Maybe they go here. I'm hoping they go there, but maybe they just move off the line. Oh, this is a horse of a different colour, dude. Oh, okay, time's running out. Oh, he has moved there. Okay, so it's back on the same colour. But this time the king is a little bit closer. So that is a diff bit different. We take, rook takes. Ah. So he's probably looking for a draw. 50 seconds left. What do we got? Come on, need to speed up here. 41 seconds. <laughs> We're going to mess this up, aren't we? I can feel it in the water. In the 41 seconds, now they're on two minutes. How has that happened? How has that happened? <laughs> <laughs> All because of this King's Paradise situation. It shouldn't have happened. You know, I, I know something in the water wasn't right. We just couldn't get it. And this is the kind of win this temple with these pieces. And this here, it's looking to get promoted. But we should be able to checkmate this King. We don't care. We should be able to do something. Or get a proper taking of the pieces but it looks like we're going to be a bit slow to the party don't know why they're delaying on this particular move oh as if thinking of getting into this square that's the square we didn't want them getting to isn't it and now they're actually getting in there oh <laughs> it's even worse right from the start that's what we said we didn't want the king getting into this square Oh, and trying to hide its way around but maybe that's not such a good square for them maybe the rook comes here but then he's just coming here and maybe maybe maybe, maybe. I just didn't like the thought of him getting central, centralised and supporting the pawns he does have this situation now And it's not anything that we didn't see. We, we, oh, he's hiding. Can we just come here? Support the rook. I'm doing stuff without calculating. Come on, calculate. Got 40 seconds with the three second increment. I'm trying to close off the squares as best possible. It's got not here, not there. Oh, we can get his rook off the ball, but it's not the, with the right piece. It's not with the right piece. And his king is so close to these pawns here. Uh, take with a check. Let's get rid of these. Go for the rook. Take the rook off the... Oh, for what the shine on is going on. He's going to push the pawn down. He's going to push down. Attack it. 
iconic stations. I'm inclined to think we don't have anything to worry about now. So we can take and then we can take the rook with a check and then that's it. So they should resign now. They have space to move. No, they do not. Ah, and they've resigned. Excellent. That would have been a stalemate threat if I'd have zoomed up here with the pawn because the king had nowhere to go. Yeah, so we're just about to move the um, queen out of the way. Give it space. Excellent. I think that'll do for the nice, quirky, annoying world of chess and the very ordinary, normal, everyday chess, casual chess players such as myself. Um, I think this game really typifies the ups and downs of playing, losing pieces, losing minor pieces, gaining better positions, um, and then looking at that position a little bit deeper and trying to avoid getting getting what's the word losing an advantage even though you've got better pieces on the board and just from over being overzealous with the attacking so really looked at what the opponent could do and those pressure points that i was creating for myself where the king was finding spaces and the rook was supporting and the way that they could maneuver their king to try and get to safety those pressure points in my own brain helped my own calculation realize well, there are better moves that you can make, yeah? Even though they're going into positions that you're not really comfortable with and you feel they're going to be advantageous. And um, sometimes it's not always as bad as you think, but you have to utilize the experience that you've had. So that helps to what's the word, tighten up my thought process as to what the next move should be. We're looking at the end of the 2023 season. And what have we learned? We've done quite a bit of stuff this year with our chess. Um, lots of different concepts to add in. And now we're on the back end of just consolidating all of those concepts. Not really looking at adding anything extra now. I think the mantra has got enough in there to work with. And just try and consistently get the practice of the moves in and the concepts in. The strategies, the planning. We're never going to get it 100% proved because everybody plays chess differently and really it's just a matter of practicing and practicing and practicing. Has got a two on one. We've got a two. So push the pawn, maybe then to push the bishop. They might just be baiting us anyway. And again, you'll get your move orders wrong because you'll see the pattern and you'll think, oh yeah, that's the way it is. But then you'll probably find out that Oh, maybe I just did it slightly wrong and it's trial and error because patterns look the same sometimes and you think oh well I can get away with doing that this bishop is supporting the pawn coming through here so I'm still going to take it anyway so he's gonna have an advanced pawn so we could attack the pawn if it does drop then the Queen or the Bishop can take Knight's got here so he's disheveling the pawns in that area so we'll just take here do they take? I'm not too sure. They're usually precious with the bishops. So I'm then taken. Okay, so let's go with that. So we've got highly developed pawns up there in the center, but I'm not really laying out much hope that they're going to stay there. We could go here, x ray through. It's just that the bishop doesn't have anything supporting. So we could simply just go and attack their queen. I don't want to be arty. I don't mind doubling the pawns in the center of the board. So we'll just grab and keep that nice and tidy in the center. So attacking the pawn, we can support with a pawn or we can attack, but then he would just take our pawn. So I think the simplest thing is to just support the pawn. Maybe we can get a castle. All right, so they're opening up the dark square bishop. It does give us time to potentially go and castle. It's a dark square bishop, so the dark square diagonal should be okay for us. We're looking to try and get the bishop out. But I don't know if I'm a fan of opening here, so then they're going to attack. Ah, he's gone kingside castling anyway. 
so I'll probably come back here or oh, it might even go here yeah it's gone back there so we could attack the rook but you know this pawn's not for free and then we'll just be bouncing back again could attack the knight again then are we just making it, making it get a better position so if we did do that and they did move then the bishop could come here and attack the rook and the rook can't come here I don't think it's going to work like that but we will give it a try so the idea is that we could potentially come here attack the rook rook can't come there so we get the rook off the board so they would just attack our bishop and they're not falling for that and they're not falling for that so we could take bishops open okay i don't think i want to be trapping the bishop in or maybe we're just baiting pieces down this pawn's got no protection only piece that can really attack it is this knight or this pawn do we just get rid of the knight Choices, choices, choices. It's one of those positions where I'm just thinking it doesn't look too good for the dark square bishop because all our pawns are on the dark squares. And like we said, the only piece that can attack this pawn is this knight. I don't really want to be babysitting any pawns. So this is probably our good bishop because it can mobilize around. So maybe we'll just bring the bishop back here to defend this pawn. But I suppose their rook can come here, start attacking here. So the bishop's not going to be safe there. Coming here. Then we can come here. I think the knight's going to cause us some problems. That's what I think. I think the knight's going to cause us some problems. So I'm going to take the knight off the board. Then I'm going to move the bishop back. Come to here, supporting the pawn. It's attacking the rook, so they're attacking. What do they have to attack? Anything else? Nope. Let's go here. So probably going back to defend the pawn. Or supporting, going to attack the bishop. So it looks like it's going to lose the pawn anyway, which is half decently okay for us, I think. This is why I wanted to get rid of the knight after all that deliberation, because the knight would have been too flexible around here in these open spaces. So I believe. So we are looking to take the pawn. Maybe they're going for a trade of the rooks now. No, so it could go for a two on one here. But like we said, this pawn is probably going to get challenged when they go here, but we can take the bishop off the board. So if we did bring the rook here for a two on one, king's got space to move if they're looking to do some business like this. Oh no, they're taking the damn pawn. So focused, one to on um, coming for this pawn. Let's just take tunnel vision. It makes you bl so blind. So it's nothing clear here at all in any way, shape. Um, they're coming defending, which is a good thing. Maybe we can come here, but we won't be able to attack that pawn. Rook's gonna have to come here. Then the bishop will come and defend. So if we went here instead, then we would be able to get to the pawn here and attack. It's so gonna go here. Idea being, we're looking to try and get a two on one with the rook and the bishop on this pawn. Obviously it's got this flyer that's um, looking to make its way down. 
He's going for an exchange, Bishop. Oh yeah, because he's got the flyer going all the way down. Mm hmm. Okay. Could still drop here and attack the pawn. Attacking both pawns, so then the bishop comes back to defend, then we attack the pawn here. But are we are we spiting ourselves doing that? This rook takes, bishop takes. Because even if we do come here and we get this pawn off, he's still got this flyer here. And the rook's probably going to come and support. I'm going to try do it the way we wanted to do it. And see if that works out for us. And let's just bring the bishop here. Doesn't have to be the rook that takes either. The bishop can take and then start managing this square maybe. Because uh, he's looking to take it off the board. So we could now take with the rook as well. Then the take. Bishop takes and it's managing this area. I do like the idea of the double pawns type thing. See if we can make that work or not because he does have his own pawns here. Just bringing this pawn up. It's got a dark square bishop. This pawn is going to hurt. Eee, tricky, tricky, tricky. I think we probably need to take the pawn off with the rook, don't we? So that might be too much dancing. Bishop takes. Let's just take it with the rook. They don't have to, they can come here looking to try and, or oh, even supporting the pawn. Let's just take. Right, get the king across, are we fast enough? One, two, three, four, five, blah, blah. Ah, the bishop takes. Hit the king. He just drops, hit the king again. Not good. He's going to go around the side, isn't he? Hit the king, give them something to think about. Maybe dance with a few of these pawns, get them a bit more elevated if we can. Oh, he has gone there. Let's just hit this. I thought it would come up there. Um, hit this pawn. That's what I was thinking of doing. So if we pushed here. Not got to forget that this pawn is going to go ramping home. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we'll get there in time. We'll get there in time. So let's just start moving this king across. They've stopped now and they're doing the count. They might have not done the count like we just did. But now they're doing it. So it's going to be, how can this bishop get down here to stop the king from getting to this, this square even? No, we've done the count. We should be okay. But it's probably just leaving it there now because the bishop is protecting the pawn. So we need to fashion a way of getting these pawns into action. Maybe just get the king in front of this pawn first. this try to get to there but I don't know if that's gonna work should do should it but that could just go and block push so we're close enough now to stop the pawn if it does start jumping down so maybe we don't waste that move maybe we push this pawn but I think they're gonna be doing something like this to kind of stop that off now he's not doing that, so he's bringing his king down. Let's continue with what we were trying to do. Trying to get these doubled. 
well, not double, but you know, linked up somehow. See if we do push it links, and if it pushes past, let's push here. Let's go here. Then we've got like a fork type thing. If they stay there. So that was what I was talking about, trying to get them linked up as best possible and with like double pawns in the centre, it usually can work out quite nicely in the end game like this. And they've resigned. Excellent. Good to talk that one through.